In what ways does your media product use, develop, or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? Um, the first convention that my film adheres to would be the age of the protagonist. Um, the protagonist is around 12 to 14, and this is pretty typical of a thriller horror film, as it makes the protagonist seem weaker, they're younger, sort of more vulnerable as well. How does your media product represent particular social groups? Um, social groups represented in fairly, st fairly stereotypical ways. Um, the protagonist is a 12-year-old boy, 12 to 14, and is therefore portrayed as being sort of frightened and worried. Um, the mother character in the film tells the child what to do and is sort of the figure of comfort, um, so their scene is in control, and when we remove that character, um, the protagonist, the 12-year-old boy, seems even more frightened, losing that comfort, so yeah, that sort of helps to build up suspense. What kind of media institution might distribute your media products and why? Um, cinemas could distribute it to audiences in the form of time screenings over a period of time. Um, another way my media film could be distributed would be through the internet by downloading and uploading. Um, although I'd get no, obviously, no income from, from doing this, it would be a good way to get my film out to audiences who may not have seen it otherwise. Um, who would be your audience for your media product? Um, young, te young adults, uh, teenagers sort of thing would be the main target audience for this film because it builds up suspense and enigmas which um, very young audiences may not, be, may not be able to engage with. Um, also there are some threat and horror elements to the film um, that younger viewers may not be comfortable viewing. How did you attract or address your audience? Um, I only, only introduced one major character so the audience could focus their attention on the protagonist as opposed to lots of minor characters. Um, this adds to the suspense as the lone character has the audience's full attention. Um, also, the reason for the twist is not explained, which also builds up more enigma codes which keep the audience wanting to know what's happened. What have you learned from technologies from the process of constructing this product? Um, I learned how to properly utilise iMovie so that I could make um, the film seem as seamless as possible. Um, I also learned about the importance of lighting and enhancing the film by making it either more or less suspenseful. Now, looking back at your preliminary task, what do you feel you've learned from the progression from it to the full product? Um, the most important thing I learned from my preliminary film would have been the importance of watching out for continuity errors. Um, I therefore kept a close eye on my actors to make sure they wore exactly the same clothes over the period of filming. Um, I also learned that having unconventional camera angles doesn't necessarily enhance the film in terms of cinematography. Um, so sometimes it's better to stick to what you know.